remember and there changed my voice now I've recently been provoked to the extreme so I'm just going to try to read this fast and explain it to you okay Hebrews 11 faith in action now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance in what we do not see this is what the ancients were commended for by faith we understand that the universe was formed by God by God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what is visible by faith Abel brought God a better offering than what Cain did by faith he was commended for righteousness when God spoke well of his offerings and by faith Abel still speaks even though he is dead by faith Enoch was taken from his life so that he did not experience death he could not be found because God had taken him away for before he was taken he was commended as one who pleased God and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek by faith Noah when warned about these things not yet seen in holy fear built an ark to save his family by faith he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is in keeping with faith and just so you know God commands all people in America to shut down all their mosques, synagogues, and churches. And obviously, you know, they're probably not going to do that because they're not that smart. No offense to anybody. I am mad at you. I'm very mad at you people for interfering with the video. I have to do this whole last part of this video again because they added noises to it. And this has been going on for quite some time. In different states of mind, I reflected on this decision. It's fair. I've said it before. I'm the only one supposed to be teaching. There's extreme eternal punishment added to anybody who breaks this rule. If you want to learn about God or talk about God or read about God, you must rally to me. Okay, it says in, in Proverbs, I believe it is, that even the prayers of the wicked are detestable. If anyone, you know, rejects my correction and instruction, rejected my correction and instruction, whether you know it's being there or not, it still applies. And God commands you to shut down all your mosques, churches, and synagogues. And because you people have been cheating me so much to give me all of your assets. Now, I don't give a shit about money, but I'm sure we can all agree you've all cheated me for a long, long, long time. Your, your forefathers, your predecessors cheated me, so that's fair. By faith, Noah, when warned about these things not yet seen, in holy field built an ark to save his family, by his faith he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness as in keeping with the faith. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents as is Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations as architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and as, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance, admitting that they were foreigners and strangers on earth. People who say such things show that they are longing for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith Abraham, when, tested him, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who, who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Even though God had said to him, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead, and so in a manner of speaking he deceived, excuse me, he, he did receive um, Isaac back from death. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future by faith Jacob when he was dying blessed each of Joseph's sons and worshipped as he leaned on the top of his staff by faith Joseph when his end was near spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instruction concerning the burial of his bones by faith Moses parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he had he was they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of the king's edict by faith Moses when he had grown up refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter he chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as a greater value than the treasure of Egypt because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who was invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the application of blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. By faith the people passed through the Red Sea as on dry land, but when the Egyptians tried to do so, they were drowned. Of course, this is a figurative. By faith the walls of Jericho fell after the army had marched around them for seven days. By faith the prostitute Rahab because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient or unbelieving. So he says disobedient 
or unbelieving, right? It's, it's like the same thing. If you obey, excuse me, if you believe in God, you obey God through me. And what more shall I say? I do not have to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jethoth, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms and ministered justice and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fear of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. They became powerful in battle, routed foreign armies, a minister in justice. They put them all in the same category. There, that part's key. Write down Hebrews uh, 11, verses 32 through 34 especially verse 34 again is by faith that became powerful in battle right it's by faith and really being set apart you know obviously i have faith because i'm god's son that i routed all the other groups i conquered all the spirits of all the nations when the american spirit like all the other spirits of the nations went against me the american spirit and the english spirit and the israeli spirit leading the charge i routed them i trampled them i conquered them that's the facts it's not you know harassment or bullying this is just what has happened Okay, I reached out to them. I was born in this country, though, though my kingdom is not this world. They chose to disrespect God to the best of their ability, and they chose to go against me, and I beat them. I beat them in principle and in essence. You know, having a bunch of useless worldly toys in a life that's short is not something worth going for. That's like saying, hey, you know, you get knocked out by Tyson, and you're like, hey, you know, it, you, you were in it to, you know, to get knocked out, and then you consider yourself having won. It's not a logical argument. And so it is with being a man and serving God. I'm a man. I serve God. I won the top martial arts challenge, legal and peaceful, the best challenge in human history, the best proof of superiority in human history. You people lost. There's no other way to look at it. And it's pathetic to try for people to try to cover that up. Okay, so verse 35. Women received back their dead raised to life again. There were others who were tortured, refusing to be released so that they might gain an even better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskin or goatskin, destitute, persecuted, mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all condemned, excuse me, commend. These, these were all commended for their faith Yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us they would be made perfect. Okay, so Paul is making some assumptions based on the evidence, and it's not so important to know the details of whether you're resurrected together, whether you go to heaven uh, singly, you know, in single, you know, as you die or not. Okay, if you were right with God, that is. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that. They've been interfering with my videos. I've been stumbling on my words. For many reasons, I'm right. Okay. The word power, right? Pow, ear. It's a play on words. The pow and power, right? They, they play it like magicians. Look at the Pope. Look at the preachers. They're, they're doing sorcery, psychology, magic arts in, in the sense of occult arts, deep state arts, right? You know, behind the scenes stuff instead of being straightforward and honest with you. Okay. The churches have made it clear that they're not loyal to God, that they're loyal to the state. You can't serve you know both God and money they didn't want to make the choice to serve God they committed to serving money and to saving their own skins and what they're doing is extremely serious when you claim to be representing God okay whether you're a father teaching your kids or whether you're praying to God or whether you're a per person in the church okay if you claim to have the right to speak to God or speak on behalf of God and you're not someone with pure intentions which everyone else you know obviously doesn't have pure intentions then it comes with severe punishments okay and as you provoke me I'm gonna answer with those punishments it's not the same as you know threatening somebody on here with physically you know it's not the same as bullying or racist harassment or you know what have you so what I did was fair and just and right again like I said I reflect on these things and there's no viable counter argument it stands. Do I think that people are smart enough to obey that order? Maybe one or two people somewhere somehow will hear it through the grapevine, but people, and, and then respond. A lot of people probably will hear that I've been saying these things. People gossip, what have you. There's a lot of people harassing me, but I don't think that anyone's smart enough to follow that. But it's my duty to give the orders. So when they're held, when they're from God and the angels and, and the forces of the afterlife, and they're sitting there whimpering, okay, that all hell is going to break loose, okay? As far as you rebels are concerned, no offense to anybody, but when it comes to you rebels, I'm not a nice guy, I'm a righteous guy. And I fully intend to punish the souls of the rebels for eternity and to the extreme. 
I do not think that even a mildly retarded person has a significant excuse, and I've gone over it many, many times, and there's no viable counterargument. 